Well, that was stupid. In the words of the esteemed poet philosopher, Britney Spears, oops, I did it again. Hey there guys, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today I've got to do a project because I'm a moron. I figured that because I was riding this beta in not the most technical places, I wouldn't need a rear disc guard like this one to protect my rear brake disc. Well, I was wrong because even though I haven't taken this bike purposely in some of the nastier stuff that we do, I was still able to bend my rear brake disc and I noticed it when I was washing the bike because I could see it had like a spot around the, as you would spin the tire, there was a, there was a sticky spot and I noticed, well, that's because I've bent the rear brake disc. So today we're going to put a brake rotor, I mean a brake rotor and a rear disc guard on the Beta to shore it up. So it's not Beta's fault, it's just that I hit something. Um, although it does bring up a really good, a really good question, because these 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 brake rotors are made. This is a Galfer. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the uh, motorcycle manufacturers use um, brake rotors from Galfer. Um, and the fact that it's bent is not because it's not a quality product, because they are a quality product. The fact that it's bent is because I hit something with it. Um, I hit a rock with it. My question is, at what point do we start? Um, at what point do we put guards on mandatory? Or in other words, when do the manufacturers start putting this on as stock components when you buy the bike? I put guard, I, the other two bikes in the shop all have brake disc guards like this one from Bulletproof Designs, even though Bulletproof Designs won't allow me to sell that on my site because it would, they say it would break their dealer agreements. I still think it's a fantastic product. And there's a number of brake disc uh, guards or brake guards out there that are great. And I have to run them on all my bikes. Every bike that I'm gonna put any significant time on, I put it on. But I was just kind of thinking, well, this is, a, this is the bike from Beta, it's the loaner from Beta, I'll just be really careful with it. If I know we're going to some technical parts, um, I'm, technical trails, I'm not gonna bring that bike. Um, but even, even with me being careful, I still, I still uh, bent the thing. So I just, I just tapped it at one point, just a little bit, and what that did is it made this, um, it made my brake all mushy. And that's how I noticed that there might be something wrong is because the brake was a little bit mushy on one of the rides and then I got washing the bike afterwards and you'd, you'd, spin, you'd spin the tire around and you could see like, oh my goodness, it's dragging on the brake in that one spot. So the thing has got a little bit of a warp into it, in it now. So I gotta put a new part on. So I've got it off the hub here and this thing, and, and then I've got my, my new one. Um, and this thing is just ever so slightly out of round. You can see a little bit of, like on this, on this side, I've got it pinched together and it's completely flush and flat. But then over here on the top now, there's just ever so slightly a little bit of, a, a little bit of light that you can see. It's not completely flat. And so this is essentially no good anymore. Um, so my question is, how many of you guys are running rear discards? Because I've been running rear discards for years and I haven't had an issue. I did break, I did bend a front rotor on, on uh, my 300 XCW just out of, out of sight. Probably gonna have to start running some type of a plastic guard on the front rotor. But I haven't been, I haven't run a, a, rear, uh, a rear rotor without a guard for a long time. And you will beat the crap. This is a used one uh, that Beta sent me. By the way, thank you, Beta, for sending me this part. Beta has been awesome to work with, guys. They sent me this part. I, I basically said, hey, what, what rotor do you recommend? And they're saying, hey, don't put any cheap Chinese stuff on our, on our bike. Not that I was gonna do that. Um, but I was just looking for the part number and then they just sent me the actual replacement, OEM replacement. And then they sent me this, this guard here from, uh, this is a Bulletproof Designs guard. I've done a lot of other videos where I'm showing you how to install these, so I won't do that again. Really good guards, a lot of people make good guards. So I'm gonna put that on, but my question is, how many of you guys are running these things? If you're running in sandy areas and you don't have rocks or things like that, you, maybe you can get away with it. But here in the Rocky Mountains, we have so many rocks and so many different things. It just another, it's another testament to me that I can't run a bike um, in the area that I ride without a rear disc guard because I will bend it. You, I will bend the rotor um, really easily, really quickly, even when I'm being uber careful. The other bikes I'm not being careful with. I'm just you know doing reckless abandon pretty much with those. This one I was being careful with and I still had the problem. So anyway, just wanted to bring that up to you guys. It's something that um, you should probably be thinking about, uh, brake guard. Um, because it, you will bend this rotor. And these things are not too far off in cost. The, the, rotor, the rotors are expensive. I know the guards are expensive, but um, it's one of those parts, it's one of those protection parts that I don't think I can get away without running it. Anyway, 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you're having a good time with these videos, if I add value to your life, go ahead and use the links down in the description for parts. You can go to Patreon, support me that way. Uh, watch for the dirt bike sweepstakes, which we do every once in a while. And um, loving this beta, man. This beta is freaking awesome. So it's been a privilege to ride it. I've still got it for, uh, I don't know, eight or six or eight more weeks. And I'm looking forward to taking it in more places. And now, <laughs> looking forward to not bending my brake rotor. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video.